All right, it is uh, 6.30, and I'm going to call the Dumfries Town Council special call meeting, uh, 6.30 p.m. work session on Tuesday, May 21st, 2019, to order. Roll call, please. Councilman Brewer. Here. Councilman Fields. Here. Councilman Miles. Here. Councilwoman Neville. Present. Councilwoman Willis. Here. Vice Mayor Nickerson. Here. Mayor Wood. Present. All right, the first item on the uh, consent agenda here is uh, an ordinance to adopt and appropriate funds for the FY20 budget. Uh, town Manager, Keith Rogers Jr., please. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, on the special call meeting, we had items concerning the uh, fiscal year plan for fiscal year 20. Uh, at the last council meeting, we had a public hearing on each of these items. Uh, so I would uh, ask uh, the council to uh, call for a motion to approve all of these items as a block. Uh, the first item would uh, adopt and appropriate the general fund ordinance. Uh, item B would adopt the fee schedule for the town. And item C is a resolution to approve our capital improvement plan uh, pursuant to the public hearing that we had at our last call meeting. Okay. Any, uh, any questions or discussion? Okay. Seeing none. Floor is open for a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, it's been a motion and second on the consent agenda. Is there uh, any other following questions? All right, seeing no questions, please call for the question. Okay, motion carries 5-2. All right, that's it for the uh, special call meeting at 6.30. Next on the agenda is the adjourned for the special call meeting. So moved. Spin motion. Second. Second. Any discussion about adjourning? <coughs> All right, see it done. Call for the question. Okay, motion carries 7 0. Our special call meeting is now adjourned. Work session to order for Tuesday, May 21st. Roll call, please. Councilman Brewer. Here. Councilman Fields. <coughs> Councilwoman Miles. Here. Councilwoman Neville. Present. Councilwoman Willis. Here. Uh, Vice Mayor Nickerson. I'm still here. Mayor Wood. Present. All right. <laughs> Next on the uh, agenda is the invocation by Pastor James Grayson. No, no relation to the Grayson family here in Dumfries. <laughs> for, for the river of life, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. The floor is yours. Thank you, sir. If you would, just bow your heads with me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we just come to you tonight in Jesus' name, and we bless this town of Dumfries. We thank you, Father, that you said in your word that if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, and he would give it liberally. And so, Father, tonight we humble ourselves before you, and we ask you that you would give us wisdom tonight. Father, I pray for the city council. I pray for the mayor tonight, and I ask you, Lord, that you would give them wisdom to make wise decisions, Lord, and make wise choices for the, the town of Dumfries, Father. Lord, we pray for your blessing upon them tonight. We pray that this meeting would be done orderly, Father God, that it would bring glory to your name. Lord, we pray tonight as well for your blessing upon the inhabitants of this city. We pray, Father, for the police department. We pray for the, the fire department. We pray for the emergency <laughs> services personnel, Father. We thank you for them, and we ask that you would protect them tonight, Father, as they protect us. Lord, we thank you for what you want to do in this town, Father. So, Lord, we ask you tonight that everything would be done under your covering, under your blessing, 
and under your protection. Lord, we give you praise and we ask this meeting be blessed tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, please be seated. All right, next on the agenda is the adoption of the agenda. Uh, tell Some me. <laughs> I'm just going to. It's been motion. Is there a second? Tell me, is there any uh, amendments to the, the agenda? If you yes, sir, Mayor. I believe the closed session would not be needed this evening. You sure, as far as with the action items? Yeah, we'll take that as the, 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 the action items. We'll keep that up there. Sure. Yeah. All right. Anything you have, Clerk? No? You have nothing? All right. Uh, we'll skip. Yes. Um, I was going to say, because I would like to make a motion to move closed session up before the action items. Okay. So we just. Okay. So you want to have it. <coughs> uh, we'll do it right after the adoption of the agenda. Okay. That way, uh, the presentation, because it probably won't happen until about 7 o'clock anyway. Okay. So we'll, we'll move the uh, closed session up. All right. So you have to amend your motion. I'd like to amend the motion to accept the moving the closed session up to item four. Okay, so with motion, who's, anybody second? Second. second. All right, so it's motion is second. Any uh, further discussion about the agenda? All right, seeing none, uh, call for the question. Right, motion carries seven zero. Six zero, I'm sorry, six zero. Six is only six of us. Very well. <laughs> Whereas the Dumfries Town Council desires to discuss a particular subject in the closed session during the course of our May 21st, 2019 meeting, and whereas the nature is a discussion of personnel matters, the discussion in closed session is permitted by Section 2.2-3711 Alpha 1 of the Code of Virginia in 1950 as amended. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Council of Dumfries does hereby convene in a closed session for the purpose herein expressed pursuant to the legal authorities herein recited <coughs> on a motion made by myself. Second. The following resolution is adopted by vote. Motion carries 6 0. All right, we will immediately go into a closed session.
whereas the Dumfries Town Council has completed its discussion in closed session and now desire to continue our meeting in open session, and whereas each and every member of the said council who votes affirmatively for the adoption of this resolution does thereby certify that to the best of his or her knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempt from open session were heard, discussed, or considered during the closed session, and that the only subjects heard, discussed, or considered in closed session were the matters identified in the resolution by which it was convened. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Council of Dumfries does hereby reconvene in open session at its meeting of May 21st, 2019, and certifies that the matter set forth in Section 2, Tag 2 3712 Delta of the Code of Virginia 1950 as amended. On a motion made by myself. Second. The following resolution is adopted by vote. All right, motion carries 6 0. All right, next on the agenda is the uh, presentation of the Boys and Girls Club. Do, do you want to skip over? You'll come back? You wait. No, okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. All right. Resolution, uh, action, we'll move down to our action item. Resolution appointing of the treasurer. Uh, Mr. Rogers. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the resolution that is before council is to appoint the town treasurer for a term beginning July 1 and ending on December 31st of this calendar year. Uh, at this time, I uh, request a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All right, so it's been motion, it's been second. Is there any discussion about the appointment of the treasurer? All right, so, uh, and, and I just think it's important that I read this so that the public knows why we do this. Where, where's the town council, the town code of ordinance chapter two, administrative article three, division two, section two dot 83, the town manager, department head vacancy states that the town manager must recommend to and receive concurrent from the town council regarding individuals to fill vacancies that occur in the case of department heads who shall serve at the pleasure of the town council. Whereas it further states that the town manager should also make recommendations about the appointed positions of the town clerk, the town treasurer, and the town attorney. So I'll just read it one time, I won't read it again. The town council will make the final choice to fill these vacancies after considering the town manager's recommendations. Whereas the town manager shall make appointments of all other town employees based on the recommendation made by the appropriate department heads and whereas it has come to the attention of the town manager that the appointment should be made every year, and whereas Red Lad has been serving as the town treasurer, and whereas the, the town manager and town council would like to reappoint Red Lad as the town treasurer for a term of six months. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Red Lad be appointed for a term of six months, effective July 1st, 2019, to December 31st, 2019, as town treasurer. And the motion has been made, it's been seconded. So we can call for the question. Yes. My last one. All right. Motion carries six zero. <coughs> Next is a resolution appointing the uh, town clerk. Mr. Ma Rogers. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the resolution that is before you now is for the appointing of the town clerk. Uh, this resolution uh, s states that the appointment for the town clerk will begin on July 1, 2019 and commence on June 30th, 2020. I am looking for a motion to approve from the council. So moved. I'm sorry, this has been uh, motion to second. Is there any other discussion? All right, just want to say I think that uh, we got a master municipal clerk here, and I don't know if that should have been stated in this document, but it says town clerk. I just want everybody to know we got a master municipal clerk here, so. All right, it's been motion in second. Seeing no, no other discussion, we can call for the question.
Okay, motion carries six to zero. All right. We already did our closed session. Our next regular meeting is June 4th, 2019 at 7 p.m. All right. We'll have our Boys and Girls Club. Do you want to come up now? You can do it. Yeah. It's okay. Come on up. Have a dialogue with us. members, mayor, and town members. Um, so just a couple things that have been happening at the General Heiser Club in the last couple months is um, we were at our national conference in Houston, Texas in the beginning of the month. It was the um, May 1, 2, and 3. And um, myself and one of our staff members were able to attend. And um, we received an award. It was a merit award for one of the programs that we receive, that we run at our club. Um, the award, this award is given out on a national level to 10 different clubs throughout the US. So out of the thousands of clubs that um, are across the country, there's 10 awards given each year and the General Heiser Club was um, awarded one of these awards. It was for a program that we've been running at our club for the last four years, it's a baby program, and it runs in conjunction with our Smart Girls program. And our staff person has the girls, they make up their own babies out of bags of flour and styrofoam heads, and then they carry these babies with them for a month. And she has an app where she texts them, and they have to get up in the middle of the night and feed the babies and change the babies and they write their reports and they have to check in with her and take pictures at midnight of them feeding the baby and send them off to her. So they do this for a month. Um, the purpose of this program is to, um, so the girls and the, and this year we actually have two boys participating so they can experience what it's like to be a parent. They um, go out shopping, they price out what diapers cost, what formulas cost, what formula costs, just what, you know, all the different things that you're gonna need to raise, you know, to have a baby is gonna cost. They also do fun things. They have a, sho a baby shower, so they get to celebrate, you know, having this baby. But it's just um, a good um, experience for these kids. Some of the comments that I've heard this year from the mothers, because some of the girls have gone through this um, two or three years, but the moms say by the end of the month, these kids are ready to throw these babies away. Um, so that's just a, um, a positive, you know, a good thing that we're hearing from the kids. Um, so we were awarded that award on the national level. The, another award that we received was our club was the top club for number of military youth served out of all the clubs of the nation. So we received an award for that also. Um, tonight, um, we have our Youth of the Year who will be with us in a few minutes. And so this is a, um, a program that we run every year. It's run across the nation. So there's 14 clubs within our organization here in the Washington, D.C., Virginia, Maryland area. And there were eight Youth of the Year who competed out of our clubs. There's one um, member from each club who, who has the opportunity to participate. Um, this is a vigorous program. They have to write essays. They have to write speeches. They have to come up with a brand for themselves. And they compete at the, re at the organizational level. So um, a young lady from our club won it at the organizational level this year. And um, so if you win at the organizational level, then you move on to compete at the state level. Um, so at the beginning of April, she went off to the state competition in Richmond and was competing against about 20 other youth from across the state. And she was named the Youth of the Year for the state of Virginia. So she is now preparing to go to the regional Youth of the Year competition, which will be June 17th, 18th, and 19th in Atlanta. And she will be competing against about a dozen other youth of the year from across the nation. 
um, from the Southwest region. So we're hoping that she wins there. If she wins there, then there's five youth from the five different regions across the nation that would then be competing um, at the national level. At each level, these kids are um, receive scholarship money, um, so they're earning. You know, they're getting money for to you know, help them get through college. They also it, um, this person then becomes the spokesperson for the youth in the club that she is a part of, and the organization that she's a part of, and then um, at the national level, then as on a national level but it's a great opportunity. There's mentorship. She's meeting all kinds of people and networking, and it's just a great opportunity. So without further ado, I would like to have Nola Payton come on up here, and she's gonna share some of her story with you. She could take off her coat. I know she just came in. Stay a while. No. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Nola Payton, and I am the 2019 DC slash Virginia State's Youth of the Year. And now I would like to share my story with you all. Sitting on my front porch, I saw Miss Thomasine across the street. She waved, and I smiled while holding back tears. I ran upstairs to sit in my room one last time. Surrounded by brown boxes, I felt empty, lonely, and confused. Once my childhood home was foreclosed, my mother and I had no money and nowhere to go. Then we both found the General Heiser Boys and Girls Club. She was offered a job and I found a home and that home became my rock. Rocks told the story of how they're shaped through intense pressure and extreme heat over time. Through the pressures of poverty and sense of loss, I have become as strong as a rock shaped by resilience, optimism, compassion, and kindness. Resilience. My mother and I faced some tough financial challenges. I was a 13-year-old freshman forced to balance school and a part-time job. But even with the help of my $125 check, it was not enough. Those frigid winter nights with no electricity were hard to get through. Initially, my grades suffered, but I went to power hour every day and made a promise to make good grades. My resilient spirit helped me improve my grades, and now I am on my way to Clark Atlanta University. <laughs> Thank you. Optimism. One of the teens of the club, Gabby, reminds me a lot of myself because she's known to have a cheerful and positive attitude. Last summer, she found out that her parents were getting divorced, and she was devastated. When I started talking to her, we shed a lot of tears, but shared a lot more laughter. My optimism rubbed off on Gabby and helped her find her smile again. Compassion. There's always something that I can give. My friend's mom is an alcoholic, and most of her income goes to feed her addiction. One night, my friend and I were on the phone and he told me that he was going to Walmart. I knew what that meant. He was going to steal food. I told him to come to my house instead. We cooked him a meal and gave him food from our kitchen cabinet. When he got home, his brother asked him where he got the food from and he told him not to worry about it. His brother then said, I bet you it was Nola. Being able to help them meant a lot to me and the comment meant even more. I always want to pay forward the generosity that others have shown to me and to never forget to be compassionate. Kindness. Smart girls impacted me and taught me a lot about self-love, respect, and kindness. Now as a junior staff running smart girls in my club dance program, we talk a lot about understanding our differences and being kind. I learned not to walk in my struggle and my club has helped me to become a resilient, optimistic, compassionate, and kind young woman ready to change the world. I am Nola Payton, and I am as strong as a rock. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Resilient, 
optimistic, compassionate, <coughs> and kind. I don't know what else to say. That was just uh, brilliant. We wish you much success on your way to uh, Clark Atlanta. Um, I don't know, anybody else want to say anything to Nola before she? <coughs> that was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for coming, sharing, and inspiring us and other people watching and for all you do to help. If you are, what's your age again, Nola? 17. There is no age limit on leadership. And you, the future is just in really good hands with people like you. So I just thank you, and I thank your mother. She's going to be good at the reset. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, Represent Dumfries very well. Thank you. Anybody had anything else before we uh, wrap up? Okay. Well, then we're at the close. We uh, appreciate that. Huh? Was it anybody find a specific example? No. Okay. All right. Very well. Um, th there was a couple of things I wanted to, Judy, if you get a chance to say to us, thought that was uh, important for the club. Uh, from from the I know the last board meeting we talked about the amount of repairs that's been done over there in the last three years. Mm -hmm. how, how much could, would you say you've spent in the last three years on repairs, and what type of repairs have been done? It's over a hundred thousand dollars in repairs that have been done. So we had a Lowe's grant where we got fifty thousand dollars, and then we also had funding from the Hilton Foundation, which was another fifty thousand dollars. So with those funds, we've had. Um, HVAC upgrade, we've had security upgrades, we've had cameras installed, um, the front desk area and snack area and game room have all been remodeled, um, the computer lab got new carpet, um, we've had LED lights installed in the gym, we've had leaks repaired in the gym, and some roof repairs done. And so that was part of the leaks and we had some exterior um, foundation work done on the building to help with the, to um, alleviate some of the water seepage that was coming in the gym. So that's, and then we've had, like I said, we've had cameras, we've had um, just new lights installed all in the game room, not just the light bulbs, but the whole new ballasts and everything has been um, repaired. We've had some doors replaced that were broken in for the classrooms downstairs. Miss Lonnie, am I forgetting anything? So that's been the, um, the next project that we're working on now is um, a thorough cleaning of the gym and painting and then we're um, getting prices for new gym floor. So hopefully that will happen in the next year. All right. Any questions? No, I don't think there's any questions. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. All right. I think that's uh, that's <coughs> it for our agenda. Oh, yes, Councilman Brewer. Mayor, I know this is premature. Okay. Normally, what we do is we wait till probably October, September, October time frame before we designate a um, person for our Christmas parade. Um, I'd like for the council, this is a shining star here in the town of Dumfries, and I'd like for her to be the Grand Marshal. I'm gonna make that in the form of a motion Second. for our Christmas parade. What's well, been motioned is, well, we didn't vote on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Right. All right, so it's been motioned, it's been second. Is there any further discussion? No. All right, seeing none, let's uh let's call for the vote. <coughs> I don't know. Yeah. 
All right, so the motion carries seven six zero. Nola, where do you live? Okay, so uh, the only the only stipulation to this would you have to be here during our Christmas parade. Second Saturday of December. No. Could be me. Could be me. All right. Any anybody got anything else? All right. So next on the agenda is to adjourn. So it's been moved. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. Call for the question. All right, motion carries six zero. That means this meeting is.